everybody welcome back to a north texas weather center forecast and today what we're going over is the potential for severe weather today tomorrow wednesday and thursday of this week there are several chances for severe weather we'll be primarily going over what to expect later today because there are some important updates that you should know about as well as the potential for severe weather outbreak heading into wednesday so all that information here in this forecast let's get right into it so as of today we have a slight risk of severe weather across a good portion of dfw also back out to the west close to areas like eastland and stephenville they're in an enhanced risk of severe weather the main threat today will be large to very large hail potentially as large as tennis balls baseball sized hail possible in those areas there's a hatched region out there we'll get to that in just a second also a marginal risk for those in eastern north texas and again that includes all of north texas we're under some sort of risk for severe weather later this afternoon here's your hail outlook for today back out to the west that red area is going to be representing your 30 percent probability within a 25 mile radius of seeing some large to potentially very large hail again up to tennis balls sized hail came and roll out maybe four inch in diameter hail in some very isolated storms so this will be fairly large hail today high lapse rates a lot of lift strong updrafts are going to result in that potential for some large to very large hail Closer to DFW, there is a slight risk of severe weather, but it's not nearly as prominent. You can see back out to the west, here's your hatched area. It kind of gets cut off just west of I-35W, but in DFW, I'd expect maybe some change-sized hail, possibly up to half dollar or golf ball size. Can't be ruled out, but for the most part, any hail in the DFW Metroplex will likely be on the lower end of the scale when it comes to large hail, if we see any today as well. Again, more on the timing in just a moment. Tornado threat for today, it's, it's not really that high, to be honest. The low-level jet is not very strong. Wind shear is kind of on the weekend. So we're not really looking at a whole lot in terms of a tornado threat per se, but you can see there's a 5% probability within a 25 mile radius, really anywhere west of I-35. So again, there's a possibility. It's a low threat, not really looking at any long track tornadoes or anything like that. I at least don't think today, but there's still a little bit of a threat maybe for a tornado or two later today. Looking at the damaging wind threat as well, you can see primarily back out to our west, the best chance for damaging wind gusts up to 65, maybe 70 miles per hour in a storm or two as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at your future radar and everything they need to know over the next several hours. So be getting it as early as two to three o'clock we'll start to see some storms develop back out here to the west primarily in central texas and again we are our coverage area now includes abilene so any storms that happen over in that area we will be going live for so just keep that in mind by four or five o'clock more and more storms will start to develop primarily over in central and western north texas so you can see here over in uh san angelo and abilene you can see several storms firing up any of these probably going to at least produce some large to very large hail again because of the strong updrafts that we're seeing today by six o'clock these storms start to move a little bit off to the east they're not going to be very fast moving but you can see near stephenville a couple of storms there look at those whites those are going to represent very large hailstones so that's what we're really worried about tonight in terms of the main threat for today by seven eight o'clock a cluster of storms will be basically ongoing across southwestern north texas by nine ten o'clock this starts to move closer to the metroplex some isolated showers and maybe some storms near the metroplex as well during the late evening into the early overnight hours and eventually by three four o'clock these storms start to fizzle out but again this is just one computer model we could very well see more storms in dfw but this is the current prediction at least in the hr model uh, department there you can see that we'll have the potential for some storms today all right now when are we going to see storms particularly like in the dfw metroplex when is that first chance that we might see some storms well there's a chance that some storms may develop down here near waco and move off to the north and now if this does occur which it's a possibility depending on how strong the cap is we could see actually some storms in dfw a little bit earlier but the dew points as you probably know are very low in the dfw metroplex as of right now but by this afternoon by about seven eight o'clock they will start to rise to a point where you can see a lot of buoyancy which is going to help the potential for some storms to develop late tonight now eventually by 10 11 12 o'clock you can see two points are back into the 60s and 70s across the metroplex so we will definitely be a lot more humid tonight that will bring that potential for some severe weather again later today dew points will be in the upper 60s all day tomorrow prompting another potential for severe weather as well so just keep that in mind here's your tornado parameter what does this really tell us well it tells us what the chances of a tornado in a given location so this is kind of like what you're looking at the reds are going to represent your best chance for tornadoes you can see values closer to three out back out to the west but it's kind of in a different area i'm, I'm gonna be honest with you tornado threat's still fairly low even though it's showing threes I would expect that, you know, closer to the DFW Metroplex, for example, you can see that most of us are seeing values between maybe zero to one. It's basically a low end threat. So not really much of a high threat by any means. We're not really looking at the main threat being tornadoes in general today. So don't be too concerned about that. All right, let's go ahead and hop into what we're expecting going into tomorrow in terms of severe weather. The latest update from the Storm Prediction Center issued a marginal risk for almost all of North Texas now. So you can see this does extend into now DFW. It was not originally in DFW. And then there's a slight risk of severe weather here going into areas near Wichita Falls. This is an area that we'll watch pretty closely as well tomorrow for the potential for severe weather. There's an enhanced risk of severe weather across southern 
northern and southeastern Kansas and Oklahoma, as well as Missouri and far northern Arkansas. That will be a potential for a tornado outbreak heading into tomorrow because of a low level jet being very strong. This is your main area for the tornadoes tomorrow, just in case you do plan on storm chasing. Take a look at the future radar tomorrow. In terms of the DFW Metroplex, a few storms could develop as early as 1 to 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Again, any storm that does develop tomorrow, the main threat will be large hail. Maybe an isolated damaging wind or isolated tornado threat, but I would expect the main tornado threat to be back off to our north and west. By 5, 6 o'clock, some storms still ongoing near the Metroplex. They'll eventually move out to the east. You can see near Paris, maybe some strong storms there by around 8 o'clock or so tomorrow night. And they'll eventually move out. And they'll eventually see a little line of storms move through the Metroplex tomorrow, or excuse me, Tuesday morning. This will likely be a week line of storms so not really looking at much severe weather on tuesday all right heading into wednesday is our next chance for severe weather and this seems to be a pretty big day in terms of an outbreak potentially in north texas you can see there's an enhanced risk of severe weather and this is still four days out for areas near Bowie, gainesville wichita falls all included in enhanced risk that doesn't extend into mo much of central oklahoma as well now, all of North Texas is at least under a slight risk of severe weather. You can see that it does include literally all the Metroplex. So again, a chance for severe weather does exist in any of these areas. All threats are possible, including damaging winds, large hail, and a tornado threat will exist. Let's take a look at your future radar. Heading into Wednesday, we might see a line of storms kind of weaken as it heads toward the Metroplex during the early portions Wednesday by 1, 4 o'clock. Storms will start to develop, and these will be the isolated discrete supercells that we'll be watching very closely for the potential, again, for all modes of severe weather. Rotating supercells will be a potential as well by 7 o'clock. Some storms again moving through the metroplex potentially down to our south as well but our main threat seems to be right along the red river valley with a few storms though still being possible in the dfw metroplex so keep that in mind as we go throughout the day on wednesday thursday there is a slight risk of severe weather this has shifted a bit to the east but i would still expect a bit of a threat here closer to the metroplex but you can see that the slight risk includes anywhere east of i-35 east so basically anywhere in dallas terrell greenville as well as bonham have all the chances for maybe some severe weather on thursday here take a look at the future radar on thursday you can see a line of storms will likely develop toward the metroplex during the mid to late morning hours on thursday eventually by about 10 in the morning those storms move through the metroplex so it looks like a good amount of us will see storms on thursday not all of them will be severe most of them probably won't be severe but any that are severe will probably again be probably in northeastern texas including areas like pa paris and as well as texarkana and then eventually by one four o'clock these storms move out and we should actually dry out heading into friday saturday and sunday so mother's day weekend looks pretty Pretty nice actually a lot drier than what was originally forecast so it should be a pretty good weekend but it will definitely be warm in the upper 80s and low 90s quick look at the setup real quick in terms of the low level jet over the next several days including today uh, i forgot to mention this earlier but the low level jet will not be very strong it looks like they might get a little bit stronger during the uh early overnight hours close to the metroplex but the storm should be able to weaken before that strength thing does occur so the low level jet probably won't be strong enough to produce any tornado threat maybe a very low end tornado threat uh, late today into the overnight hours heading into monday again the strongest portion of the low level jets back off to our north that is going to produce that potential for a tornado or two up there by tuesday you can see tuesday afternoon not much of a severe weather threat there by wednesday you can see the low level jet really strengthens especially back out to the north that could bring potentially bring a tornado threat to our region Make sure to stay updated with North Texas Weather Center on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter for the latest. This forecast is brought to you by Platinum Contracting, Berkshire Law Firm, and All Dents Repair.